Welcome to the Goal Zero Toolbox Talk Series. Today's Toolbox Talk. Communication and Safety. Proper communication is crucial for a job to run safely and efficiently. When communication is lacking or missing there can be many negative consequences for employees. Recognizing the communication tools for work tasks and the work environment is important to ensure everyone's safety. When someone says communication, the first thing you may think about is speaking to another person or sending an email. These are just two ways to communicate, but there are many more. Some other examples of communication include posters, labels, warnings, bulletins, pictograms, JSAs, SOPs, body language, etc. Depending on any number of factors, each of these tools of communication, or a combination of them, can be very critical to working safely. You as a leader can point out and use these tools with your fellow workers. Proper communication and safety go hand in hand. If there is no communication for a given work task, then safety is also missing. Tools for communicating a safety message include JSAs, JHAs, etc. are important tools to communicate the steps of a job task, the associated hazards of each step, and the mitigation actions to be able to work safely. Safety talks discussing work tasks and the associated hazards of the work are very important for work crews. They get everyone focused and on the same page. Labels are found on almost every piece of equipment, tool, and chemical in the workplace. Manufacturers put these labels on for a reason. They often relay some of the most important information regarding the hazards and safeguards of that product. Never forget that verbal communication is very important. When you see a situation where someone could be hurt or there could be property loss you should always speak up. Have a conversation with the individuals involved in the task to voice your concerns. Involve them in correcting the behavior or finding a solution before an injury occurs. Take the time and use the resources available to develop and improve your communication and to keep you working safely and efficiently. Safety talks are essential before the start of the workday to get everyone thinking about doing the job safely. The purpose of safety talks is to provide relevant information. A talk of 5 to 10 minutes each morning before the start of work will get everyone focused and in the game. Some districts do an additional talk after lunch, to bring everyone back in after the break. There are many ideas for safety talks, but most of all they should pertain to a relevant safety issue of the day. The environment, the work being done, past incidents in similar circumstances, and potential hazards are just a few points foreman can focus on. Here are some ways you can deliver a successful, meaningful safety talk. 1. Have a goal. Think about the job and direct your discussion to that area. Don't do winter weather when it's 90 degrees. 2. Correct an issue. Maybe something happened yesterday that needs to be addressed. 3. Give positive feedback about safety done right. 4. Make your talks interactive. Ask questions. 5. No vague or general talks. Tell them about the hazards, and relay actual stories. 6. Point out hazards and show them how to avoid them. Overhead lines are a perfect example. 7. Record your talks. Time and date and who was present. 8. Talk with the workers, not to them. Ask them what their concerns are. 9. Be positive. Don't minimize safety. I'm only doing this because I have to. Complacency is the biggest factor in incidents. Daily safety talks are a great way to combat complacency. As a worker or as a leader, this is your opportunity to provide leadership. Don't waste it.